this is a, a senseless act of, of vandalism uh, on a public on a public object, and and really a venerable object like this, I, I really think it's almost sacrilege. It is a tree that embodies Austin's history. Stephen F. Austin stood underneath it with the Indians to sign a boundary treaty. But more than a century later, someone else stood beneath Treaty Oak, apparently with destruction in mind. Looks like it's got a lot of leaves in it, but uh, it's, it's dropped a lot of leaves. It should be a lot thicker than this. This is what happened to Treaty Oak after an unknown poison was dumped into the ground over the winter. It's finally made its way into the system. That chemical is now burning or doing something to the tree. It's taken this first flush of growth. And you can see the symptoms on the leaf here, how the, the veins are, uh, in between the veins are kind of dying out. And it's uh, essentially uh, pretty much ruined this, this first flush of leaves that come out after the tree loses its leaves in March. This is about six inches right there. We don't need to go much deeper than that. Tree experts are now dealing in damage control. The contaminated soil around the base is being dug out and will be replaced. Tree troubleshooters with the company Micro Key Sciences came in from Houston with microbes that digest chemicals to inject beneath Treaty Oak. At this point, the feeling is the tree will live. It's got about five more chances in it to push out new growth, trying to cleanse itself of poison. The testing of the Treaty Oak soil has been given top priority by state laboratories in Brenham. By early next week, we should know what caused the poisoning of this tree. Why? It's quite another matter. Karen Sunlightner, KVU 24 Action News.